Now we've previously talked about absorption spectrums and we've also talked about emission. So now we're going to talk about the emission spectrum. Whenever an excited electron falls from a higher energy level to a lower energy level, it will emit a photon. So let's imagine we have an electron at some level and it goes down to some lower energy level. Then it is going to emit a photon. Now, atoms have lots of different energy levels. So we have lots of different energy levels and they have lots of different separations between them. But this means that each atom has lots of different sized energy gaps. So again, there's energy gaps as big as this or even as big as this. And then there's smaller energy gaps like this or this. And these are all gaps that electrons are allowed to move across. If the electron drops down by this gap, it will emit a certain type of photon. If an electron moves across a different gap, it will emit a photon with a different energy. It follows that photons of many different energies can be emitted by a single atom. So by the electrons moving around the different energy levels in the atom, they could emit photons in this energy range or this energy range or even this one. All in all, there will be a collection of energies of photons that an atom can emit. This collection will be called the emission spectrum. So these are the specific energies of photons that the atom can emit. And so we find that the emission spectrum only has specific colors or frequencies. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCSE physics and combined science videos, just click on the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and let's make physics at GCSE a walk in the park.